My name's Kelly. Welcome to our venue, Everett West. You're in the heart of the Pearl. Mm -hmm. It's downtown. You have a beautiful outdoor space. Yes. You have touches of modern concrete meets wood. Talk to me about like the aesthetic. You're like, I wanted it to be like. Uh, we were definitely going for urban, modern, industrial, just with our location, the history of this building. Um, I mean, the history of the city and location more than anything where, you know, the railways used to go through here. So we were just really trying to keep as much as possible. We have these huge, awesome wood beams in the ceiling from the original build from the building. Um, our front brick wall, um, that obviously was also part of the original build. Uh, we are transforming the outdoor space a little bit just to modernize it and kind of keep it with what we have going on inside. Um, but really it's just a nice extra bonus feature that people can utilize really however they want, but it's kind of, um, it's a little different for being in this location to have something outside in such an urban area. And if you guys hear any noise too, there's construction going on there, building out the side, there's a skyscraper going up. But so then to paint that up, we have a door over there, which puts you out to kind of an outdoor secluded patio, street access, mm -hmm. trees, going to be cafe lights. Yep. So if you want to have an outdoor ceremony, you can, and then you can move into this space. This space is your plan B if it rains Yep. or you get married in here, go out there for cocktail hour, they can flip the room. So there's yep. just a lot of possibilities. A lot of possibilities. So mm -hmm. are you ready? Let's do some rapid fire. Let's, let's see if I can start yeah, let, yeah, let's so, see. <laughs> I'm assuming brides, couples, I want to help you guys out as much as possible. So we're going to see if we can answer questions that are going through your head. So how many people do you guys accommodate if a, if a bride asked? Um, our capacity is 300. Okay. Um, I would say comfortably that's going to be a cocktail style environment. Mm -hmm. um, so standing, mingling, heavy appetizers, things like that. Um, seated, I would say 250 is going to be our capacity or 250-ish, I should say. Um, that will not necessarily allow for a dance floor with 250 so we would need to remove some tables to create that space um, but really you know 200 is going to be a great number in here if you want just a, a dance floor built into your floor plan um, so if that kind of helps with the different numbers and everything outside i can do a ceremony of about 200. okay that was my next yep. question perfect so 200 outside yep um and then cost what like Paint a picture of, if a bride's saying, I'm looking at my budget, what should I set aside for a space like this? Um, so our space, we're doing very competitive pricing, um, especially just to get us up and, up and running. Um, your normal, I guess, if you will, Saturday rental is going to be 3,500. Okay. It's a 12 hour package, which is flexible is normal, with the time. Um, or is that a little bit more? I think it's normal. Uh, it's average. Okay. It might be a little bit high. Some places I know do a standard 10 hours. Every once in a while you'll see an eight hour package available or similar. Um, so we're really just trying to give our clients the benefit of the doubt with having a good chunk of time for setup, breakdown, and obviously a good amount of event time as well. And then that 12 hours, what's the start time and end time? That's flexible with the timeline. So if it's, you know, let's say your event's 5 to 11, typically we would just add on one hour on the backside yeah. um, for breakdown and cleanup and things like that, more so for your vendors, um, and go 12 hours forward from that. So, gotcha. but obviously if your event changes and you're doing a 2 to 8 p.m. kind of thing, then we're just shifting that 12 hours with you. Yeah. There's nothing set. And then when does, if the DJ is rocking out and the dance is going, when does the noise have to stop? Um, inside, 1 a.m. Wow, okay. Outside, if it's a weekend, 12 a.m. If it's during the week, 10. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. um, do you, with that 3,500, does that include anything or is that just space? It's essentially just space. Okay, so no um, rentals, right. no stuff here, everything's got to be brought in. Yes, so whatever we have in the space, you know, our, our sound system, a projector, not that weddings are using projectors anymore, but it's here if they need it. Um, the lighting that we have, it's just LED track lighting, dimmable, um, we can sh angle it different directions and whatnot. Um, but as for tables, chairs, linens, things like that, the big bulk of your setup, um, we're bringing in per event. And that's again, just to go back to our blank slate, really designing and customizing your event for the unique couple so they can have 
their vision come to fruition. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Talk to me about catering. Catering. So uh, we actually own the space as a caterer. We're Artemis Foods. Um, we're, we're local, organic, sustainable. We're women owned, B Corp certified. We have all of those little Portland check boxes check, next check, to check, our check, name. Check, yeah. um, so we are the owners of the space and we would love to do as much of the catering as possible. Now, with that being said, we do have a list of preferred caterers that you can choose from. Um, and when you say preferred, is that saying we like you to choose off that list or you have to choose off that list? We like you to choose off that okay. list. If you're not going to work with Artemis Foods, we would love for you to work with these people. We've yeah. hand selected them just based on their sustainability um, and just unique food options yeah. compared to what we can do. Um, for instance, Crown Paella, they are awesome at doing, pa uh, excuse me, paella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we can make it, but that is their thing. Yeah. So we're gonna, you know, let if, yeah, let them do their thing. Now that's not to say you can't work with another caterer that's not on our list. So it is still an open policy, um, but that does need approval and they do need to sa sign a guest catering contract and things like that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one down, let's see. Talk to me about alcohol, wine, and beer. What are the options? Okay, we have a few options in that department. Okay. Um, Everett West is doing an in-house bar program. Okay. So we have hired a bar manager to come up with seasonal, very craft cocktails. So think like your teardrop, you know, the original craft cocktail bar in Portland, I think. Um, <laughs> Things like that. We're trying to have, we're trying to think outside of the box in terms of catering. So instead of going to a bar at a wedding, ordering a Jack and Coke or a gin and tonic, we want to have a little more fun than that. So we're doing very seasonal options, not to say that we're not doing old fashions in Manhattans and your gin and tonics and things like that, but we're, we're doing more infusions. We might be making our own tonic water, you know, instead of just purchasing the basics. Yeah. Um, and then of course, all of our beer and all of our wine will be local, okay. um, local Pacific Northwest yeah. at least. Um, so we're customizing all of our bar menus with that in-house program. Okay. However, the client is also allowed to bring in beer and wine if okay. they would like to. No hard liquor bring can in, be brought in. Okay, so they yes. can bring in their own beer and wine if they yes. want. Say, hey, we made something special for the wedding. Yep. Like some couples do. Okay, mm -hmm. So they can do that, but no hard yep. liquor. That has Correct. To go, we have to go through you guys. Exactly. Okay, yep. good to know. Um, let's see, do you have in-house audiovisual system? You kind of touched on that. I did touch on that. Okay. We do. It's a just kind of a standard system. Okay. Um, nothing that's going to blow yourselves out of the water yeah. with, but um, it, it's a basic. So if you want to self DJ, if you will, okay. it's an easy hook in and you have plenty of amp to, okay. you know, give yourself a party. Um, a DJ can hook in if he or she wants to. Yeah. Um, but most of the time we're seeing them bring their own equipment anyway. So not too much of an issue one way or the other. Perfect. And of course, room for a band and acoustics for that as well. Okay. Um, this is an interesting question. I don't know if this pertains. If when people are thinking about decoration of the space, are there any limits to that? Or are there any things you want to speak to that when they think about, okay, great, it is an empty space. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is a great platform. Do you have any direction for them as they design it out? Um, one thing, yeah, let's see if I can put my words together. Yeah. Um, being a blank slate, they can do as much decor as they want to or as little. I think the space kind of speaks for itself in a sense that you wouldn't need to bring in a lot of decor, um, but it's also a blank slate that you could bring in a ton of, you know, you could do pipe and drape and lots of floral and backdrops and things like that, whatever it may be. Lighting is gonna be a huge thing in here. Um, but we don't necessarily have any restrictions as long, you know, I mean, open candles are totally fine as long as they are in something that will catch the wax, I guess, okay. if you will. Yeah, yeah. containing it. Yeah, containing it. Um, other than that, have as much fun as you want. What about, so we are located in the heart of the Pearl. Mm -hmm. How will guests get here? How, like, what is the parking situation? What would you mm -hmm. recommend to guests? Um, being centrally located obviously makes it very easy for transportation, whether that's the streetcar, the max line stops, you know, just a few blocks from here. Ubers, lifts. Ubers, Ubers lifts. Right we right have hotels up. nearby that yeah. if you're doing room blocks, literally they can walk across the street. Okay. Um, now, some top hotels that come to mind for you? That 
Hotel, the Hampton Inn is right across the street. Um, the Canopy just opened and they are just a couple blocks down. And then let's see what else. I mean, we're partnered with Mark Spencer on top of those hotels that I mentioned. Okay. Um, they're a little bit further away, but still very, you know, just across the street from Powell's essentially. Yeah. Um, you know, there's so lots. Pretty much staying, guests coming in, staying at hotels, the walkability mm -hmm. is huge, you're centrally yep. located. You don't really have to worry about a car. now. If you have everyone that's born and raised Portland or they just happen to live here now um, and everyone's driving in. Um, there are parking garages nearby, street parking, you know, take your chances, but there are definitely lots of garages nearby that you can reserve parking through the city uh, or not, your choice. And we do have actually on our website, a parking tab that I have created some interactive links that will shoot you off to get additional information on those things. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Are there any other things? Let's see. I'm just going to take a pause. I can cut the video here. Let's see. Tell me if anything sparked your interest. How many weddings do you allow within a day? I think I can answer that one. one. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to ask it. How many okay. weddings do you guys do here a day? One. One. Yes. Perfect. Okay. It's yes. your space for the day. It you is. You get outside, inside. Yep. Awesome. Exclusive access to the whole place. Uh, what's your deposit cancellation refund costly for brides thinking about that? Deposit is just going to be 50% of the venue rental. Okay. So it'll vary, obviously, depending on the day that yeah. you book. And what's the date today? It's October. It's October I don't know, the 12th. Just so you know, this yeah. could change. <laughs> yes, this, this could change. This is what change. it is right now. Right now. Okay. So do you guys offer on-site coordination or is that something where the couple can say, hey, we're going to do it ourselves or we'll just bring somebody in? Because I know some of you say, hey, if mm -hmm. you need a planner, we offer We it. have that. Yeah. Obviously, we have a list of coordinators yeah. that you can choose from or hire whomever you would like. Again, kind of that open vendor policy. Um, I definitely recommend having a day of coordinator at least, if yes. not... Yes. If not a full service Somebody's coordinator, need a wedding planner at your day and you don't yeah. want it to be your mom. You don't want it to be your mom or your best support. friend. Let them actually relax and enjoy the day. Yeah. Okay. So hire someone that does this every day. So you'll have a preferred list, obviously, yes. which is great. Mm -hmm. You've them. Yep. They know Once the space. Once you get up and going, they'll get exactly. to know the space mm -hmm. and know what it can do and what it can't do. Yep. Okay. We are working on doing an in-house coordination for those of our brides that really just want more of a day of um, and essentially that will probably be me once we figure out exactly um, how to do it, okay. how to work that in. Thanks for watching you guys. If you are interested in checking out our space, give us a call, drop us a line, whatever is easiest. Follow us on social media if you want to see some progress as we complete our construction. Um, hopefully this video today was helpful, answer some of your questions through the wedding venue hunt um, and hopefully we hear from you soon. <laughs>